Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of order of operations and prime factorization. This is standard 6.7a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 1 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a fairly complicated story problem about Frank and giving money away and dividing money, but really they give us what we need right here. They give us our expression. Now this is an expression because it does not have an equal sign. So we need to simplify it. We need to reduce it using order of operations in order to figure out how much money he had left. It's the 65 minus two times nine times seven plus nine divided by three. So let's Think about our order of operations, please. Excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Is what we think of to get to our parentheses. And there are no parentheses here. There's no parentheses. We have no exponents. Now, we do have some multiplication and division. I'm going to draw some lines right there simply because even though multiplication comes first because one of them has to come first, they are both equal. They are inverse operations, which means either of them can come first. Multiplication or division coming left to right, and then we have our addition and subtraction, same thing. So that's one thing that messes us up sometimes, is we think multiplication always has to come before division, and not necessarily. Division can come before multiplication if it comes first left to right. So there's no parentheses. There's no exponents, but we do have some multiplication. We've got a 2 times 7. We do have some division, 9 divided by 3. So we're going to use that, and we're going to simplify. Let's do it one at a time. So I'm just going to put some parentheses here so we can kind of see what we're doing here. 2 times 7, that's 14. And I'm going to go ahead and simplify this as well, 9 divided by 3, because those both happen at the same time. So we don't do anything with this addition yet. That addition is just going to stay there. And we're not adding the 7 and 9, that's for sure. And then we still have the 65 minus. So what we did is we took our 2 times 7, and we brought that down to 14. We have our 9 divided by 3. Bring that down to 3. And then we have a 65 minus 14 plus 3. Now, addition and subtraction. Any of them can come first, left to right, and that's why we have our subtraction. We're going to take care of this first. Even though addition comes first in our PEMDAS, addition and subtraction are inverse operations. Either of them can come first. So 65 minus 14, that's going to be 51. Then we add our 3, and guess what? We're going to get 54. So our answer here is going to be this B, $54 left. Now, that makes sense. He had 65. He spent uh, some money, $2 per day, but then he was given a little bit more money to divide equally. Um, so that seems like it's going to be right. This number, the 444, the 150, just seems way too large. So let's see how we can get some of these. So what happens if we don't use any type of order of operations? Well, what if we just did 65 minus 2 times 7? plus 9 divided by 3 in just order. So 65 minus 2. So that's going to be 63. And then what if I did my times 7? So 63 times 7. What in the world is that? That's 21. That's going to be uh, 42. 44. All right. So that's going to be 441. And I add 9. So that's going to be... 450. Then I'm going to divide by 3. Goodness gracious. So that's going to give me my 150. So if I didn't do anything correct, uh, I could have gotten this 150. But obviously, it doesn't make sense. He had 65. He spends money, and he ends up with 150 more. Uh, and if you really do it wrong, you can also get the 20 and the 444. But our answer is going to be B. Fifty-four dollars.